And you've just uh, finished uh, your new book, and you've, uh, it's about to come out when? In June? June. Does it come out? Uh, and that's called Sane, Sane New, new World. World. And what's that Taming about? Taming the Mind. Well, it's, again, about what makes all of us crazy. So it's got that, you know, it's a little Bill Bryson-esque, uh, a tour of your brain, and then how to, and then how to work it. So, um, you know, it, it is my version of the instruction manual. So hopefully it'll do as well as The Secret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm going to say that um, Leonardo da Vinci endorsed it, because that's what The Secret <laughs> says. There's a whole Doesn't. bunch in the book. Oh, yeah. I only did page one. It says, I'd like to thank Plato, Leonardo da Vinci, <laughs> Mozart, Einstein. I'm going to use all that. I'm just ripping it straight out. <laughs> that Leonardo da Vinci helped me. <laughs> and I've devoted the book to Oprah. <laughs> 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 And do you get masses of people contacting you saying that they have depression and, and want advice from you and, and help from you? And does that feel like something of a, a responsibility? That's just a joy, I'm telling you. I mean, part of this is so that I can meet my people. If anybody stops me and starts to tell me about their stuff, I'm, I'm like, Ugh. I'm, <laughs> I couldn't be. And then if I can reroute them, you know, let's say to Marjorie or whatever, it's really the most, when I toured those mental institutions, it was the happiest time of my life. Because the deal was, I didn't get paid, but I could stay there. <laughs> that was the deal. And if you ever, you, if people in here will know, the, the conversations in the smoking room in an institution, that is the five-star Michelin of, of communication. It doesn't get any better. I was in my show, I said, there's a woman who says, I used to say to her every day, what's going on? I loved her. And she used to say, there's a communist living in my back molar. <laughs> that doesn't get better. <laughs> doesn't get better. And what's, what's next? So you, fi you finished the masters. What are you going to do next? Well, I'm going to plug the hell out of this book. Of course. <laughs> and then, um, and then I've, uh, for my dissertation, I had to do the 10,000 words, but which I wrote about flow, uh, and, it, uh, and that is my interest, is when is it creative, and when are you actually burning the system? Like, where's the tipping point? And how do you self-regulate that? Because everybody loves being on a roll, but there's a moment, actually, it starts to turn mm. into mental damage. So mm. I find that really interesting. So, so flow is this idea that Mihaly Csikszent Mihaly came up with, oh, well, where I'm impressed. You can uh, say that. it took me a long time to learn how to say Csikszent Mihaly. Um, and so the idea is it's something where you get completely absorbed, isn't it? So it may it's be single, painting, it may be painting or gardening, and yeah. you don't notice the time passing. And that's the greatest feeling man can have. On the other hand, there's a moment where um, you're, bur you're burning the engines. So it would be interesting to learn how to self-regulate and pull yourself back. But then again, that means that you're observing, then you're not in the moment. So it's a kind of interesting... I know when I'm on stage doing the show, if you're, if you're act, a bit of you is pulled back and watching. If you're completely into it, you're screwing up. So there is a kind of, again, it's using that part of the brain. The minute you're observing, but not in a kind of self-indulgent way, you're using the prefrontal cortex, which means now you've got control of the wheel. If you're in that limbic system, if I get angry, I'm angry. You know, if I'm scared, I'm scared. But the watching it already puts it up, you know, moves it. So it's just the observing. Mm -hmm. The observing and not punishing myself if I'm not there. You know, I can mm. still lose my temper, but I can pull it down faster. So you're much kinder to yourself now. I, yeah, I try to be. Um, and then that reflects in how I treat people. Because I was a, you know, the more, you can tell somebody who's abusive is that they really abuse themselves. I mean, you're just seeing the reflection of what goes on in here. So you're just generally nicer now? Um, uh, I don't abuse, I mean, I literally used to seek out, um, it would never be people I n know, but I would look for traffic wardens, or I would look for <laughs> librarians, and then I'd just get into a corner and I'd go into the full reptile mode, you know, where the jaw comes out like in the alien, and then I'd pummel them. And it felt so good, but the next day you get the backwash, you know, like you've been drinking too much. Mm. So it's you that gets it. But boy, did it feel good. It's like, a, it's like smoking. 